back to the Stu Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo. I'm here with Mark right now, and I also have Mr. Brawley Darbin from the West Ham Way USA podcast. Uh, we are talking this contentious situation right now going on with Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool, COVID, Arsenal even. Uh, what happened was Liverpool... Liverpool got their EFL Cup semifinal match first leg with Arsenal postponed because they said they had a shit ton of COVID cases, positive cases. Now, a few days later, they have to play in the FA Cup. All of a sudden, they're like... Oh, look at us. We are so sorry. I don't know. They're Russian now in my head. I don't know. Look at us. We are so sorry. We had COVID cases. Now we don't have COVID cases. Uh, they said that these were false positives. Which, okay, you don't hear about false positives much. But like 10 false positives? How many did you have? I don't. I don't know. A bunch of false positives. The only one that was actually positive was Trent Alexander-Arnold. So, since they had to do that, those players couldn't play in to d this weekend's uh, FA Cup. So, he had to play a bunch of teenagers, which they're fine. They played Shrewsbury, I believe. Uh, but these players are now eligible to play this week. Brawley. Mark. Talk to me about this. Why does this does something seem odd here? Something smells fishy to me. Uh, and I I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy usually. Um, and again, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I uh, am not uh, proficient when it comes to COVID and how false positives happen. But by everything that I've read about, says that nine or 10 false positive cases that doesn't happen. I mean, the, the, the numbers just don't add up there. I mean, maybe they tested Trent 10 times and just submitted it for everyone. I don't know. Um, I, I have no idea, but something smells off to me. Um, whether they get a, comp my, my biggest thing, my biggest takeaway from this is teams should not be gaining a competitive advantage by players testing positive and therefore being unavailable and therefore getting the game rearranged or postponed. Uh, because now Liverpool are going to have guys like Allison, uh, Firmino. I think there's two other guys that guys that were already going to be missing out of the first, le first game. And now they're going to be available. That doesn't seem right to injury me. or COVID, right? Correct. Injury Correct. as well. Correct. And I, I, and I don't, that's what I don't, fucking that's what that's what makes me mad is like, yeah, I mean, OK, if you, were, you don't have covid. Good for you. You're not going to die. Awesome. You can play. Well, David but Moyes, you you had a twisted ankle like yes. And David Moyes has come out and said, if you were unavailable through injury for the first game, you should be ineligible for this rearranged game, which makes sense. Right. I mean, ding, it, ding, it, ding. It, it really does make sense. Um I don't know what the protocols are. For... You're, you're bringing up a whole other thing where yes. we were talking, Mark, Mark, you and I were talking about um, with the postponed matches from, from half a season ago. If right. you weren't available back then, you can't yeah, play. We, we talked about it. We talked about it on happy hour. Uh, who's and who uh, was, was the one that was the one that I I initially had heard it from yeah. or had read it about it. It was his concern. Yeah. Moyes is backing him on it. And I, 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 I can totally Sorry understand. Sorry to cut you off, you know, Raleigh. No, my, 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 my issue with this or, or lack of issue is what, what's the alternative? You know, if, 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 you know, these, these, the, these players are tested and they come up positive. Let's just just conspiracy aside. Okay. Just positive. and you know, I what I don't even know what I'm trying to say here because you know. No, I get you. COVID, I get you. What, what if it's all negative rampant, and you know, and if it, it and if everyone's you know, if you have that many positives, you report that to the league. Now, a couple of days, you know, a couple of days later, is the game already gone? Is the game? 
still scheduled to be played? Did Klopp go, well, it turns out that the, these tests are positive. I, I don't even know what accent that is. Uh, it was terrible, you know, but we'll but, keep but trying. If they we'll were, keep if trying. They were One able, of us will if, get it. If, if it turned out that they were, they were false, they were false positives and, and they played and the players are tested again and they all tested positive. I mean, the, the risk that they would be exposing Arsenal to would be just would would put us even Mark, deeper the in contradiction the contradiction to that but the contradiction the, to know, that is that they they could be positive any day i i completely agree now i've always stated on this show it, that, so it that, wouldn't that be we, due we, to we a have, false reached, negative we have reached a, a point in in covid and how it affects sports is that we have the shit figured out we know what to do. We know how to quarantine. We know how to bubble. We have vaccines. We've got the booster now. Look, it, it, you don't want to get the oh, vaccine? Yeah. Tough shit. You're not going to play. But if you can't play because you can't field enough players, you forfeit. Now, I don't know how that would work in the FA Cup. I also wonder, I also wonder, is it real? Was, was there Mark, a competitive you're... advantage? Because Mane would still be out. Uh, when when the games are being rescheduled, yeah, Allison uh, Sa- would be back. Sa- Sala, you know, for me, they have would a, be they back. Have, they have a fine backup for Allison. You know, I, I'm just saying they could play and not worry about it. Is Allison we're not talk- an advantage we're not over talking, Keller? Come on, we're not. I'm not. I I, I completely it, that agree. is an advantage. I, Stop I it. it. Is it? Stop it. Is it an advantage? Yes, Allison is a much better keeper than Keller. So, can I give the alternative to this? Yes, you were, you were saying yes, the alternative. please. My, my alternative would be to, and again, I don't know what the protocols they have in place are, but I, I'm led to believe that each team tests their own players, and that to me is a conflict of interest, and the, and there needs to be an independent organization, uh, whether either the Premier League hires or something along those lines, an independent, bipartisan, unbiased team comes in and tests every single day and if that way there's there's no there's no bias and there's no competitive advantage to be gained you're either <laughs> so like back, like, like, so, like back so, when so they like said the, uh, like what back when the oakland athletics were like yes we have tested all of our players <laughs> exactly. they have not tested for steroids I mean, let's let's do what they do in 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 uh meat processing plants in 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 the u.s every single Every single meat processing plant in America has a USDA DA, right. office where they come in and they are they are making sure one that you're following protocols and two they're testing for you know for whatever I'm shocked that's not already happening for what's not supposed to be in the food right you know so let's get let's get a a a, a, a league COVID expert doctor or physio in every you know let's get 20 of them yep and they sit there and they monitor the test now now you know i have an additional the only way the only way that i would think and this is a stretch and i know it's a stretch the only way that i could see 10 false positive tests is if they got a bad batch of tests, and it's I hope, possible. I, I hope How that's often the case. Ha- these these what, the, you know? Have you heard of this happening before? I have not. Well, not on a not in in a, a professional. Not with a football team anywhere. Not anywhere. Sure, sure. I have read about where you've I've gotten about, one thing that have, was a bad read, batch. Of, I have, okay, I let's have read about then, fraudulent. Then tests. Liverpool should be filing a complaint. So, so you're telling me where where are all the like where's all I'm the truth? I'm not telling that, you. I'm, that, I'm wait, wait, saying wait. that it is possible. Yes, but but you're saying okay. I'm if, suggesting if that Liverpool maybe this could if have Liverpool happened. is so sure that that happened, they should be filing an, an official complaint, and we should be able to see that that complaint. I don't Wouldn't think you? the Premier if you ran, I don't if you think ran a multi billion dollar business I don't think the Premier League is known for transparency. That's what 
they fucking better be right now. That's there oh, is no sports this, league this in the is world the stickiest that is known Mark, for transparency. Mark, I I know you think that this moment and and me even putting like is Klopp a cheap? That was just to piss you off because <laughs> because we were arguing no all day about game. this. <laughs> I know, but the thing is, Mark and Brawley, this situation. If this was real, if if this actually happened, it is huge. Talk about stories of the century. You want to know what else was huge? The Super Six, and where 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 is that gone? The Super League. Uh, well, we're just it's, watching. You know what I mean? It doesn't Super negate, it, doesn't negate it being Swept one of the biggest the stories of ever. It doesn't matter. It does. Uh, you know, I my, hear. I my hear question is this: so, so if this is a thing. If this is a thing and it's the story of the century, I don't know if it is. I don't know. I, I, if it is, I know it you will don't be. Know, but what I'm getting at is Liverpool ain't the only team. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. How, so so hey, if, exactly. We're gonna, if we're gonna bring that out and make it a conspiracy, who else is involved? Because. Spurs have a lot of t- a lot of games under their I, belt. I, you to can. Be that's what I'm saying. I, I up agree. and down the table. You know how clear it is to see. Exception. Look at when Leeds played Arsenal. Leeds had like nobody. Yeah. We we were like, please don't call it off. Please don't call it off. Uh, Marcelo Bielsa had injury. the kids licking the lamp posts. Did they? Did they try trying to get, to get, the get game COVID? Off? But nobody got they, COVID. <laughs> No, Leeds they didn't have COVID. Like one, they no, just they had like a hundred injuries. And one case, and then all the injuries, and then the league was like, oh, we really feel sorry for you. We're just not gonna have it. It wasn't play. until the next week they finally got some COVID. They're like, finally, COVID came. They're like, we, COVID. we got the COVID. <laughs> that that's the crazy <laughs> thing, is, is to me, COVID is now becoming an advantage. If you catch COVID, if you have players catching COVID, it's almost becoming an advantage, which is why I keep why saying it's, it a, it's a conflict of interest now. Mm. It really is. You remember when they were doing the uh, the the water breaks? Yes. Oh, yeah, last season. And I, I remember seeing so clearly the water breaks where uh, Pep Guardiola's team's would switch they would be like oh okay this this is going to be a close game and then they would have their water break and they'd come out and be different teams yeah it's it's what a a good manager can do at halftime but now you have it multiple times in the game um i guess what we're saying is if there is a way to manipulate it for for uh clubs gain it will happen that's why mark I hate to say, yes, this is all conspiracy type shit, but if it's true, fuck. So, like, for, for fuck, instance, man. last year, if you remember, Spurs and Leighton Orient in the league. Yes. Cup, um, Leighton Orient, they, they didn't have the ability to test. So Tottenham said, oh, we'll supply you with a big batch of tests. Oh, they all came back positive. Leighton Orient can't feel the team. And they have to quit. They have to forfeit the game. I'm not saying Spurs gave them tests that were going to pop up positive. It's not what I'm saying, but it's a conflict of interest where, you know, do if if we test, and at that point they didn't have to test. Spurs were doing them a favor by sending them tests. They didn't have to test. They were they were they were wondering whether they should test or not because if it comes up positive, that means we can't play this game. So do we even want to test at that Which point? Which means the, millions so of dollars to them exactly. as well. Exactly. Like. And they're so they a, tested. a lower level league team. They opted to test. They came back positive. They couldn't field the team. Late Norian were kicked out of the round. Now you have Liverpool unable to field the team. Oh, but we can rearrange the fixture to next week. Not a problem. Now I've heard the reasoning behind this. They're saying it's because there's enough time that it won't be running into the next round. So late Norian. But just we had unlucky. to move our match with Burnley 24 it, exactly. hours. Exactly. It, it's. It's crazy. It's crazy. And then that I mean, moved another match Liverpool, from a Saturday to a Sunday to a. Liverpool should have had a three 0 forfeit in the first leg. That's all. That's, that's that was the answer to me. And tough shit. You got to suck it up. And I don't understand why that wasn't done. And, and they I, just said those players. Here's what gets me: those players that tested positive were not available for this match. You know, that's our penalty. So you fielded a full team for the FA Cup. Yep. 
when your argument is you couldn't field a team. We can't field a team. Yep. Play the kids. Yeah, it's bullshit. But the shrewsberries taste like shrewsberries. <laughs> do we have? Do we know? Oh, the mighty talking? arsenal! <laughs> the mighty arsenal, Mark. Hey, you guys have been theory. playing great. I don't want to so, hear it. You guys have been playing so some mighty, great stuff. so I, mighty against. I, uh, I know you lost in the FA Cup. Us. That's a one-off. So mighty. That, and the that only was two a, times, you, the only you two guys times you guys lost. As, round or the third round with both away at nottingham forest which is a crazy stat it's a I just, crazy I, stat. I thought the fa cup they was called the lose. the arsenal cup Have no you guys it's won called it like the a fuck billion up. time anyway 14. yeah i look, would kill here's here's here's, here's, here's what once. you know we're, we're we're getting a little off topic but i'll just say this about arsenal y'all are your worst enemy can we, you, continue, Arsenal is can we continue talking enemy. about uh, uh, stay on topic, though? Like, can COVID. we get back to the Can, to can the I COVID? say something? I, I brought us. So, I mean, the next thing I kind of wanted to talk about, too, that ties in with the COVID thing. Leicester now uh, filing a complaint to uh, the Premier League and asking for their game against. This is a bad thing. I don't remember who they were playing against. Hang on. I have it right Everton. here. Uh, yeah, it was Everton. Everton. It's the and, one that's being rescheduled for tomorrow. Yeah, and so but or Wednesday, but, but Leicester included in their request, not Liverpool. I think earlier when we were talking off air, I said Liverpool did this. It was Leicester who did it, and Leicester said it was a combination of COVID cases, injuries, and players being at Afcon that factored into a reason why they couldn't play. That was one of the reasons they listed, and the Premier League approved their request because they couldn't feel the team for the Everton game. And these postponements are getting out of hand, in my opinion. And again, it comes down to it. If you, te- if you have players test positive mm-hmm. while you have guys out for injury and guys away at AFCON, it plays in your hand that you might get some injuries guys back and you can play and then you, you have another advantage. I mean, I, I hate to say it because... AFCON? Uh, um, and Didi, Didi? yeah... Um... I don't know. Tielemans Belgian. French or Belgian, yeah. He's Belgian. He's Belgian. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't uh, remember. They they have a few different people, I think. But here's the thing. Here's the question. Because I I right off the bat, you sound super conspiracy theory. But the question is, if they didn't, I think Daka might be there too. Daka for sure. Samare yeah, he hardly starts. And DD, he's been um, playing lately. Yeah, it looks like Leicester lost four guys to Afcon. Okay, but uh, like, it's if they AFCON didn't have any not... COVID cases, would would they be able to be postponed? That's the question. Is if they didn't have any COVID cases, would they be able to postpone? Is it a specific number? Or is it reasons? You know, like, is it 10? Or is it 8 yeah. with COVID or 6 with COVID? In this case, or, I what, don't, what's I don't the know. fucking rule? I don't know. But the 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 whole, the, my biggest issue, AFCON, that's not a reason. You know that should not, you guys have AFCON. That should every, absolutely you know not be a reason. You know player that guys are going to AFCON, and uh, that is not a reason to why you can't feel the team that is not and and now you got you got games pushed back down the road too where you might get a an extra game with guys who originally were going to be away at afcon who are now being fielded into that team which again they should be suspended for in my opinion they should not be able to Mm -hmm. feature in that game right yeah yeah so it's like covid covid um again should not give you a tactical advantage and you should not want players to test positive so that you might get X, Y, and Z players back down the road for the rearranged fixture. I mean, I mean, watch, we could, we could possibly, if Klopp and Liverpool were these super evil corrupt things who were going to go by the letter of the law and, and win that way, they could, potentially continue to have enough COVID cases, just enough to not have to play a match until Salah and Mane come back. 
So 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 what you're saying is it, it it's kind of like The Walking Dead where they, they have a they have like a, a a pit and there's like a couple of guys that got COVID and they just throw players in there, you know. <laughs> throw them in there. And no, the they pit. got they got the cup. They or the COVID rag that they toss around. <laughs> They're like, "All right, it's your turn." Hey Jordan. Your turn, pal. Uh, and they're like, who had it last? Who had it last? Who had it last? All right, toss it over. Oh, like, oh, not no. to me. No, my 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 grandma has COVID, so we're gonna bring her in. We're gonna we're gonna swab her, and then we're submitting them for uh, Alexander Arnold. We're gonna submit them for uh, Virgil Van Dyke, and then we're gonna submit it for Firmino. Uh, that way. That way they test positive, and you know what? We'll get Salah and Mane back down the road. It's like, oh, it's such a big deal. We're going to be without these guys, so we can't play. Sorry. I'm just it, saying, independent if testers, it happens, get independent if testers. it happens, we will know. We will know that they, they're they fucking cheating. <laughs> they're fucking cheating. And as Mark if said, happens, they're not going to be the only one that gets, that gets uh, caught out by this if it's yeah. truly and properly investigated. Because I'm certain that they're not the only ones doing this. Yeah, I just I just don't see the Premier League, you know, being forthright and and transparent about these ongoings. No, it's gonna get it's gonna get swept. Yeah. Premier League is like the fourth biggest government on the and, planet. And next thing you know, we're getting cease and desist. Do not talk about this. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's exactly. like talking about I Arlo disappear. White. disappear. We're like, we were going to have Mark uh, co-host the show, but like, oh, uh, the out of we don't head. know what happened to him. You know, the last thing he right, was going to go to the store for beer. Yeah, this was a good chat, though. All right. Good for chat, sure, guys. Uh Hopefully, we're not all murdered by the Premier League. Um, and if we were, the Premier League did it. It was the Premier League. <laughs> Stay away right. from that COVID rag. That sounds These like guys. a Joplin song, you know, like a ragtime. You know? <laughs> the, oh, COVID no, 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 the COVID rag. rag. Get out of here. <laughs>